Hello everyone! It is time for a little update about my project of this UPS to convert UPS from lead acid batteries to uh, lithium ion batteries using these PCBs. If you haven't watched my previous video about how I did that, you can see it here. I used these PCBs, fill it with batteries and connect it with the, UP the USB. Uh, today uh, I will uh, show you what updates I have on this project and I will ask you for a little help uh, to charge the UP to use the UPS charger and charge the battery with it. So the first thing that uh, I want to add to this project is these standoffs here you can see, uh, there, there is a little, there is a lot of space actually between the batteries, and I bought these new spacers, which are a little bit shorter, five millimeters shorter uh, than this one. So uh, I would like to change the the standoffs. By changing them, you see that this space here is much more shorter. Let me compare this for you. It's quite a bit of uh, reducing space between the modules. And this way, when I put it here, I think I will have space for one more module. So let me add one more module. I have added the new module. This is the setup. Uh, I already tested if that can fit here. It is on the edge, to be honest, uh, to close everything here in the UPS. But using that battery here, this is 375 watts of power. And compared to this giant battery here, which was originally suited here. This is around 400% with 400% with more capacity than the test battery. So this is the first update. The second update is that uh, I will add BMS to this module. Uh, in the video where I, I tested uh, these batteries, you can see it here. Uh, it's clearly shown that uh, a BMS is required. Some of you also point this out, so thank you for all the comments and all the suggestions. Uh, this is the BMS uh, that I have chosen. It's a Chinese one. I waited for, for this BMS for a couple of months. It's rated in 30 amps, 7S. I already soldered uh, XT60 male and female connectors. To the BMS. So let's add the BMS. First I will remove the pack and I will remove the top layer uh, in order to insert the X60 connected to the middle layer of the of this pack. So this will be the BMS, this will be the connector here. And then I will add the top layer and then the screws. Now we need to add the jumper cables that connect all the cells together. So this is how it looks currently. Let me add the jumper cables. These are the jumper cables that I already made. Uh, I will uh, 
start from the top and at, end at the bottom. So all the cables, oh, it's in this direction. No, it should be like this, okay. Uh, so all the cables will go to the bottom. Like this. Now I will add the cable to that connect the BMS. I will just slice it here. I hope you can see that. And then get me here, okay. And then I'll connect this connector to each other. I'm just checking if it's seen on the video. Okay. And this will go like this. So let's put this into the UPS. I already tested the whole setup and it's really tight here. This cable should go here. Like this. Um, the BMS will go here. I will just put the plus cable here. And I will remove this wire. Pass the negative wire here. And we'll push it like this. Okay. Now I'll connect the, the UPS cable, the BMS cable, sorry. Just like this. I didn't cut the cables of the, of the UPS because I'm not sure where exactly would I place it. So it's okay for now. Let me connect the UPS and let me turn it on. Okay, it's working. So now it is time to close the lid of the UPS. That will be a challenging. I already tried that. Let me turn off the UPS. I already tried this and it's very, very difficult to be honest. Uh -huh, this cable needs to go here. Okay, it can be closed. Let me just turn it on. Okay, it's working. So, now let's test it. I'll first open it. Let's disconnect the BMS. In order to test it, I would like to uh, see the battery actually uh, to measure if there will be any any heat somewhere. So I will use the uh, thermal camera for that. Uh, I will use this meter to measure the the consumption Let's put it like this. I hope it's seen in the camera. Okay, now it's okay. Uh, what else do we need? 
we need the, the UPS plug, which is connected here. And then we need some load. For load, I will use a lamp. This is 100 uh, what one well, lamp and cable like this so let's turn the UPS on okay so without any load it's consuming half an amp from the batteries let's put some load uh, let me measure here the The battery temperature it is around 22 degrees everywhere around the battery so I don't see any heat here if you go to the lamp there's 150 degrees there I'll just remove the heat from the focus so I, I can measure the, the the temperature of the battery nothing wrong around the battery it looks okay. It's time to, to increase the load. Let me first remove this. Uh, the next load will be two lamps. They are echo. echo. Uh, each is uh, 100 uh, watts, so combined they are 200 watts. So let's put them. You can see that the consumption is 9 amps, uh, 220 watts. So that's, that's okay. Let me take the screen with the uh, thermal camera. The batteries are all good. Everything is good. There is some heat on the UPS. This is more, most probably the MOSFETs. Yeah, with the heatsink. If I go to the lamps, yeah, it's very hot there. So the consumption is okay. The temperature is okay. Uh, I think that's it. The help that I would need you guys, uh, if, you, if you know a way how I can use the same uh, cables to charge the batteries, uh, because the problem is that this battery requires around 9, uh, 29 uh, volts to be fully charged, but the UPS is charging to 26 volts. So there is a lot of room that uh, needs to be filled in this battery in order to fully charge them. So I need to use the boost converter to convert the DC from the UPS to, to the batteries. Uh, if you know some way that I can use a common port DC to charge and discharge the batteries and together boost them, the charging uh, voltage of the battery, uh, I will very appreciate any help about that. I already bought one. Uh, you can see it on the description, but uh, actually it doesn't uh, use the same the same port. It requires a separate port. I can easily hook it to the to the relays here on the on the UPS, but I would like to create a common solution that this is the batteries. You just plug them into the UPS, and uh, this can solve the problem. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, 